However, Badahu is more surprised by the price. It was the first day that Sarun tasted a hamburger, a food that teenagers of Ulaanbaatar enjoy frequently. <laughs> this new experience has put a huge smile on the nomadic girl. <laughs> Even her father is feeling quite happy. <laughs> it would be so great if this moment could last forever. <laughs> the two days have passed so quickly. It looks like Sarun wants to stay longer. The family will be split among the two different worlds of the steppes and the city. However, Sarun has learned that the two worlds are not so disconnected. She returns to the steps feeling much better. A few days later, Padahu's family has started to move to their winter house. They do not have a lot of belongings, but they have moved over 10 times just this year. <laughs> The weight of a yurt is only 300 kilograms. It only takes 30 minutes to take it apart. The Badahu family returned the land to the nature in its original state and took off for a new pasture. After the move, the eldest son, Pyeongba's life has changed a little. He has been coming out to the city to learn how to drive. The driving schools of Mongolia are one of a kind. They fix a few flags in the ground to indicate the road. Pyeongba used to roam the steps without any restraints. It looks like it is hard for him to stay on the narrow roads. The number of nomads wanting to learn how to drive has increased rapidly, and there are five driving schools in this city alone. The nomads who have experienced the speed of cars can no longer be satisfied with the horses. During the night, snow has covered the Gobi Desert. It means that the winter has come to the desert. The ninth graders are busy. It is time to decide what they want to do after graduation. First, they are going to share their dreams with the class. Usahan was to send the Mongols at the Juruk, but the Ustrasid, 
учраас гоос яхны мэрэгчлийг сонгосон юм аа. Яагаад үйл өнөө үед манай Монголын эдийн засаг хурдтай өгдөж байгаа тул би эдийн засаг мэрэгчлийг сонгох болсон. There is a job that is particularly popular to Ishidorts and his friends. It's an architect. Mongolia is changing every day, and the children are growing up with big dreams for their futures. It makes one wonder what they will be doing in 10 years' time. The changes in the steppes should also be interesting. The harsh cold weather is slowly approaching the Gobi Desert. Only three members of the family are left in Batahu's yurt. Sarun is the only child that is living with him. Surun says that she found a new love for the steps when she visited the city. Adahu is staying behind in the steppes to keep supporting his children's dreams. The steppes of Mongolia are full of love and dreams and will continue to be the land of life. Mongolia is the land of the sky and the history lives on inside this land. Mongolians live in tune with the mother nature and they have preserved the mysterious nomadic culture. The steppes are filled with new dreams. Mongolia is a land of the future in which the past coexists. <laughs>